morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements, Putnam, Connecticut. Down here in Lisbon, Connecticut today, working on this big swinging cape. And this is from a viewer, his name is George. He's been following me online for a couple of years, apparently. Reached out, his house is dirty, it needs to be uh, refreshed. So we're out here taking care of that for him today. He expressed to me, maybe he wants to put new gutter guards on the house. He's got gutter guards on it currently but gutters are clogged. So I told him, he said he's got overflow here. So I said, I'm gonna go up and take a look at what's happening at that drain before we do anything crazy. So let me show you what I just found. I removed this one guard on the end. Bird's nest. So when you have the little bit of gap here on the end, the birds get in and they build their nests. And sadly, there's an egg in here. So I don't know, I gotta remove it. But that's the problem. All right, dual action, look at that. We got Quinn out here in the back on this big cape. Thing extends way around. He's downstreaming. I just did the gutter inspection for the guy. We've got over full tanks of water today, so I'm not chasing water at the moment. We're actually overflowing in his driveway at the moment. So I just fired up the X6, set my proportioner in a place where I think I'm spraying around 1%. And we've got some small lichen on this house. Seems to be the story. A lot of that little lichen in the area lately. And it takes a few minutes of dwell time for it to actually melt. So I'm trying to help out a little bit by getting some sauce on the front of the house with the X6. And maybe we can move a little quicker. All right, we're making our peak shots. No problem, that's a pretty good shot. X6 on the peak, baby, no problem. Cake. George was concerned about some of the moss on his roof here. So I'm shooting about 1.5, I'm guessing, with the X6. I'm just gonna lay a little sauce up on here. This should take care of the moss that's here. Help it out a little bit. Maybe we'll do a roof wash for him in the future. Well, that's what we're doing for right now. Just to try to see if we can get a little relief. Right, see, there's another good shot. You're not making this with your Remco. Or at least I never made a shot like that with mine. We are on that peak, baby. No problem at all. Sorry, you probably can't see. Try again. There you go. See, look, at way over that peak. Look at that. That's a good shot, baby. All done. It's a beauty. Came out fantastic. That was fun little dual action. We still have plenty of water in the truck. The front tank is full. The back tank has got about three and a half bars um, because both machines draw off the back tank. So that one's going to decrease faster. So that will level out here in a few minutes and we should wind up with about 400 gallons total still in the tanks. So we're in good shape. All right, George opted for the roof, roof cleaning. So we're shooting the roof real quick. X6 action, 5%. Bring this back to life really quick. Oh. All right, Quinn and I are out on the next project in North Stonington, Connecticut, which is about as far as I like to go. And we're doing a roof treatment here on this cape. And you can see the roof is nasty. And we're treating all the roofs on the entire building. So I got Quinn setting up to 24 for me right here. I'm gonna walk up in there. I should be able to walk up into that crack, shoot this roof, shoot that roof, shoot this roof, shoot the porch roof, all from one position. Go around the other side, I should be able to shoot that side from the ground. The client already has a 32 foot ladder set up behind that chimney from when the inspector was here. They've got this house for sale. They're doing a veteran's loan, a VA loan. And as a contingency, contingency to the mortgage, the roof has to be treated. So that's what we're here to do. So conveniently, there's a ladder there for me already. And we're gonna go up and take the shot. All right, 
I'm up here for my trick shot, climbed up this little valley. I'm gonna sit right on this peak right here in just about a second, and I'll be able to shoot all of this roof, that roof, this roof, that roof, all from one position. And then we're simply gonna have one last position in the back. Hold on. All right, I've got everything shot from this position that I want to shoot. I'm gonna let that drip for a minute because now I gotta climb back down in that area. Shoot this little last section, shoot this valley, shoot this roof from down there. So I'm not sliding across the soap. Yeah, it's rolling. Listen to that hiss. Can you hear the hiss? Pulling mad soap with that 2.1. We're out here on, talking to the camera. We're out here on Musa Pond, doing a house that we've done several times. We affectionately call this the spider house. This thing is loaded with cobwebs and bugs every time we come out here, which is common for the lake, it seems. And uh, we've been washing this house twice a year. First time this year, we'll be back sometime midsummer to do it for again because as soon as we wash the spiders off, they literally come marching right back onto the house. Quinn's standing on top of the little shed there to get what he needs. I've already washed the whole front. It's got big glass that faces the uh, lake side, all done. Kind of clunky because you got to go down the hill with a ladder to go over the balcony, bring everything back up the hill. So. It's a little bit of a cumbersome job. It's not our favorite, but we're here getting it done. That's right, baby. Let the coach go. Life is easy. Stay hydrated video. Do it. 
if you're not supporting the local lemonade stand, please unfollow my channel. Well, fun's over, see? Now we got a gutter clean. Ew. Big old Victorian, power lines in the way. Two and a half story gutters, you can see trees growing out of them. Not much fun. Hey, Quinn, why don't you run the floor?